Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for the week of June 17th. This week, wrong camera, we start off here with this. Dolphin Spirit says, this and that are true. You're a Libra. You understand that. <laughs> you also have this Bat Spirit says, a rebirth is assured. So there could be, it's kind of like if you want a second chance at something, uh, you could get a second chance if you want it, like I said, because this and that are true. Uh, I do think we're in a good time where um, kind of like looking at all the options is really what this um, this and that are true energy is talking about. It's saying, look at all the options in front of you with ev you know anything that you're trying to accomplish or anything you want in your life and just realize whatever you believe is true is true. So we have all this energy in Gemini, you know, especially Jupiter and Gemini. And that energy for everyone is all about kind of like seeing both sides. You know, Geminis are really good at kind of like seeing both sides of an issue or um, they're really good at like overthinking because they think about, they, they um, you know, think too much about, you know, what, what the possibilities of a situation can be. And I think the trick for this summer for everyone is to like pick, pick a path and, and stick to it and see something through to the end, you know? Um, and literally your first card here is the Emperor. The Emperor is about decisive action. He has this armor on underneath his cloak here, Libra. And that armor underneath his cloak says that he is ready to go at a moment's notice. And, you know, I, I think that that is like the summer in a nutshell. Is like you have an idea, you know, with all this Gemini energy, you are an air sign, Libra. And you, we have all this Gemini energy in the astrology. So like pick a path and make it happen. It's like whatever you believe to be true is going to be true. So just, you know, kind of take action and, and get moving. Uh, you have the Queen of Swords. I actually want to show you the Queen of Swords on the table here, Libra, because she has her back to the past always in a reading like this. And she, look what she's focused on. She's focused on the Nine of Cups, Knight of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. And you might be thinking the Ten of Swords is a bad thing, but the Ten of Swords is showing up in the area of the good stuff. So you could be kind of removing something. I kind of do feel like you're, you're what, the words that are popping into my head are that you are removing a sleepy situation from your life. So <laughs> there might be something boring that you're dealing with, or there might be something that is putting you to sleep. And that could be what you're cutting out here. But I really feel like you're very focused on your goals here with the nine of cups, things that you want, you know, wishes that you have for your life, things that you want to accomplish. And I also feel like you are focused on taking action with the knight of wands. On top of that, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, really wouldn't be a Libra reading without the Nine of Pentacles or the Seven of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is all about your environment. And, I, you know, I always say like a couple years ago now, I did these readings about your environment. And the reason that I did those readings is because of you, because you kept getting this card. And I think I said in a reading like three years ago, I was like, you know, I should do environment readings. And then I did them because of you, Libra. So I think that your environment especially is, you know, you, you know, like I said, the, you're the reason I did it. So I think that the, it's all about you, this, this right here. And it's saying that you need to make sure that you're creating an environment of success or that, you know, an environment of the best that you possibly can. So I would be focusing on like the energies you surround yourself with, like literally what your environment looks like and the thing, the energies that are around you and surround you. And I would make sure that they are positive energies so that you can have a positive new beginning. We go two nines, two nines to me is a new beginning. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel that cleaning up your environment uh, making sure that you're surrounded by things that make you feel successful or abundant or whatever the case may be, you know, that's going to be the secret to your success over the summer. And, you know, that's what I would focus on here. Uh, with the emperor, you have the four wands. Uh, if you're with a person, this could be the person that you marry for sure. If you're already with someone, if you're not with someone, you definitely could be meeting a person uh, that could lead to success. Again, it is a very good summer for love. So, you know, if you're looking for love, we go like this to the Ace of Pentacles, to the Two of Cups. Uh, two of Cups is like a perfect match. Uh, two of Cups is usually someone who's different than your usual type. And that comes up for everyone. Again, a, a few years ago, I did the same thing. I, I did love readings because of another sign. I can't remember who it was. And everybody had the Two of Cups. So it seems to me like we're all just attracting, you know, a different type of person. Uh, with the Queen of Swords, you have the King of Cups. King of Cups is about your exploring your emotions. And I do feel it would be a good time for you to do that. You know, this could be a person, but again, really in, intuitively, I feel this is more talking about you exploring how you feel about, you know, pretty much everything in your life. The King of Cups is normally sitting in the middle of the deep ocean and he has these choppy waters that are around him. 
And it kind of represents the fact that he doesn't care what's going on around him because he has explored his emotions. He's like very comfortable emotionally. So he doesn't let things, you know, knock him off his square, basically. So I feel for a lot of you that you're getting in touch with your emotions, which is allowing you to make these better choices going this way here. It looks to me like you're going to be accepting something into your life that is really good for you. Uh, with the Nine of Pentacles, you have the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, yeah, that's it for now. Um, I'm sure that'll change. You always get the Queen of Pentacles with me as well. The Queen of Pentacles is all about resourcefulness. And I do feel you are probably, you know, I mean, just look at this reading. I mean, this right here, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. You know, you could be very focused on your finances right now. And it does look to me like you are improving your finances. So that's, you know, I would keep working on that. Uh, next, in the area of the unexpected, you have this leg up card and this not for you card. I, I do feel like you are realizing that cutting something out of your life will give you a leg up. You know, the not for you card is about realizing that something is not for you. And, you know, this could be a job, a habit, uh, something that you work on, something that you put your energy into. And like I said, that leg up card is about you being lifted up or, or getting some sort of um, reward for your efforts. And that's what I feel like is going on here is there's like a reward coming in for you or a reward for your efforts. And also, I think that you are removing things that no longer serve you. I, you know, what? here's what I really feel here, Libra, is that you have the four swords and I feel like you are, it's like you are no longer entering into situations that like require more, you know, that require more than you originally agreed to. <laughs> Those are the words that I'm getting here. You're like, I, I think that maybe over the past few years, you've had these experiences where it's like you think that the expectation is set at a certain level. This could even be a job. It's like maybe you get a job and you have a job description and, you know, the expectation is that you do that, you know, this certain list of things, right? And then I think that your experience has shown you that it's that you always end up like getting into these situations where you have to do more. And it's not like you have to do it. I think you just get sucked into it like most people. It's like you know, your, your boss comes to you and is like, oh, we need we need you to do this. We need you to do that. We need you to do this. Um, same thing in love. It's like maybe you always end up uh, pulling too much weight. And I'm getting that message off this four swords. It's like you're no longer, I feel like you're either being more clear about what you're going to do or you are kind of setting boundaries, you know, just saying like, no, I'm not, this is not what I'm here to do, <laughs> plain and simple. Uh, I feel pretty good about this, you know, especially right next to the emperor. It's almost as if you're you're committed with that four wands to sticking up to, for yourself as well. I think this is going to make your life a lot better. Uh, you have the Nine of Cups, which is a card of wishes and wish fulfillment, but just a card of fulfillment. And he's sitting there and he is perfectly fulfilled as he is. So I feel that the fulfillment that you're receiving is that you're not over ex extending yourself. You're not, um, you're, you're no longer willing to accept these situations where you have to like sacrifice yourself or, you know, put too much energy in. And again, the next card is the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is everything you want and desire in your life. And I always say that the Ten of Pentacles is something that you will work on for the rest of your life. It is something that you will uh, be putting time, effort, and energy into forever. Uh, even if you do nothing, like pe people always leave me comments. They're like, well, I, I don't want to leave a legacy. I'm not doing anything. I'm like, well, that that is the legacy you're leaving then. <laughs> so no matter what, this is what you leave behind. And I feel for a lot of you that, again, you're uh, kind of working to have the nicer things in life. Ten of Pentacles is everything you want and desire in your life. So you could be kind of working to create more or uh, to get more comfortable, whatever that means for you. Uh, with the Four of Swords, you have the Ten of Swords, yes, right here. Ten of Swords, Ten of Swords. We said this at the beginning of the reading, that you are clearly cutting something out of your life that is going to make your life better. It's like you're releasing you know, those energies that make you tired. Remember what I said about like I was getting this like sleepy energy or there was something about sleepiness showing up in the reading. And I, I think that's kind of what this is basically talking about. Uh, with the nine of cups, you have the five of swords that, that's cutting something out. I also feel like you are walking away from things, the winner of, of something. If you're like involved, I, I do get something legal here. If you're involved in like a legal battle or something, you could be walking away the winner. It's still been a battle, uh, but this could be anything. That you know, it, it seems to me like the reading is trying to spit out that you are, if you are walking away from something or sacrificing something, that this is going to be a win for you. You know, the Five of Swords is never, it, it's not necessarily a good card. Although, I, you know, to me, the Fives have the easiest solutions in the tarot. And also the Five of Swords, the guy walking away, it's like, yeah, he's walking away, but he is the winner. So, 
you know, I feel like you are kind of walking away from something, the winner. Uh, with the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Nine of Wands. Boundaries, um, this is what we talked about, putting setting those boundaries. Uh, you, you know, he is the wounded warrior, and by being wounded, he has learned the lessons he needed to learn to be successful. So it's like you have learned the lessons here with the Nine of Wands. And I feel like this, that you are protecting your Ten of Pentacles. You know, the Ten of Pentacles, these people uh, on the card, they are protected. They are inside of a castle. And so they are being protected. But it's like they still have to maintain that level of success. And I feel like that's what the Nine of Wands is saying. It's like you're maintaining, um, you're kind of like maintaining your, envir your environment as well with the Nine of Pentacles so that you can continue to be successful. Like I said, there, I said something on the King of Cups as well about, you know, people not being able to knock you off your square, which I think is important here. Uh, you have this purity card and this community card. Yeah, it's like you're surrounding yourself with more uh, people who have pure intentions. Uh, same thing in work and business as well. I feel like you're surrounding yourself with, you know, jobs or you're getting into positions where there is more purity as in you're, you know, maybe you get a job where it's like they say, this is what you do and that's what you do. You know, I, I think you're cutting out the crap here. It's like you're no longer um, willing to go the extra mile for no reason. Now, if your boss comes to you and says, hey, we're going to pay you more money to do this, then that's a different story, right? It's like they're, it, it's almost like the first two rows here are saying that you're putting up the boundary that you're going to, um, you know, that you're going to value what you bring to the table and not just in work, although it's popping into my head for work for you, <laughs> for whatever reason. So take it how it resonates, but it could be love. But, you know, again, and, and maybe if your boss comes to you and says, like, I need you to do X, Y, Z, uh, X, Y, Z, you could say, yeah, that's fine. Great. I'll do it, but I need more money. You know, it's like, it's, I, I really see you standing up for yourself here. I feel like this is leading to better opportunity as well. The Ace of Pentacles is like that big opportunity that comes in for you. I always say that the Ace of Pentacles is the card of potential and potential doesn't mean anything. It just means potential. So you get, you know, potential means you get out what you put in basically. And so I feel like you are very focused on, you know, kind of really making sure that you get what you um, put into the situations that you're working on in your life. And I, like I said, I feel like you're very focused on that. I feel like you're very focused on making sure that you're actually getting your worth. And yeah, I would stick up for yourself. The funny thing is, is that like, I'm not seeing this as one thing. I'm seeing this as like multiple opportunities that are coming your way. If you are looking for jobs, again, I, I would really like look at the job and what it requires and make sure you're getting a good opportunity as well. Definitely pop it into my head with the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, you have the Nettle Wands. I feel like this is a new person uh, coming in for you. Definitely could be a fire sign. You always get Aries with me. Libra loves to tell me how much they hate Aries. So there you go. But <laughs> uh, it could be an Aries. It could just be a person who has Aries in their chart, whatever. Uh, but I do feel that this could be a new person coming in for you. I feel like this person is very driven, very motivated. Uh, this person literally could be a builder, as in like literally they could have a job that involves building things or putting things together. It is popping into my head uh, that way. So um, yeah, I just see this as a person. I don't even think it's, you know, could you embrace that energy? Sure, uh, but I think it's a person. Uh, you have the Three of Pentacles. Again, teamwork, working towards one thing. They are all working towards building these three pentacles and getting a result based off of what they are building. So I feel like you are very focused on, you know, building things, creating things, uh, making things work, you know, creating success, all that, all that other good stuff here, Libra. So this looks really interesting so far. Um, with the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Seven of Swords. Again, Seven of Swords can be lying, cheating, stealing, but really the Seven of Swords is a card of tactics. It's a card uh, where the guy on the card is normally stealing the swords from the army that's in the background of the card. And it just says, you're getting an opportunity, but is there a better way to do it? You know, instead of going to war, war is terrible. So obviously instead of going to war, he's stealing those swords so that there like won't be a war, you know, the next day in battle so that he doesn't get hurt. So basically the Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Swords says you're receiving an opportunity. Is there a better way to do things? Or, you know, is there a more efficient way to do this opportunity or to take advantage of it? And that's how I would be thinking. Uh, the Seven of Swords comes up like crazy. I think that we are in a, in a very tactical time where if we want to do anything, we, we might not have the resources. Queen of Pentacles right here. She is resourceful, which means she doesn't, her first thought is not money. Her first thought is how can I do this in the most efficient way possible? So if there's something you want to accomplish, it's like, how can you do it um, without spending money? Or, or, you know, if you want to start a business, it's like, what's the smallest piece you can get started on? And I preach this stuff a lot now, because again, it's literally in the astrology. 
And with the Knight of Wands, you have the Knight of Pentacles. It's like oh, so somebody all of a sudden woke up here is what I feel. Remember, I was feeling the sleepiness at the beginning of the reading. I feel like this could be a new person who's attracted to you. And I feel it's like all of a sudden they're waking up. It's like all of a sudden they're like, oh, you know, where has this guy been this whole time? <laughs> that's like, that's the feeling I get here. It's like all of a sudden this person perks up and is, is interested in you. It's like, this could be a person you know, although I think for some of you, you don't know this person or maybe, you know, maybe you work with this person or they're like a friend of a friend or something. But it's like all of a sudden, I, like I feel like all of a sudden a person you know is pursuing you. That might not be true for all of you, but I think for a lot of you it is. Uh, with the Three of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I also feel like you are finally getting recognition for the work that you do, like we've been saying this whole entire time, Libra. I think that you're getting um, paid your worth. You're working on it. Uh, I, I also think you're valuing yourself more. Whenever we value ourselves more, we probably do get paid money because we're telling the universe that I, I deserve more. I don't deserve less. Uh, next, in the area of the good stuff, you have this card. It says the energy is gaining momentum. And you also have this card. It says step out of your comfort zone. So things are speeding up for you. I think you're seeing uh, better results for the work that you do, like I said. Uh, you have the Two of Cups, Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords. The Two of Cups is a perfect match. So again, if you're looking for love, this looks amazing. Could be a lot of good communication here. I always say that the Two of Cups is meant to represent a person who is different than your usual type. So this could be a, a, you know, a different person or not your usual type. Uh, I also always feel that the Two of Cups is you and your higher self. It's basically you um, communicating th with your higher self through like your dreams, your daydreams, your inspirations. So make sure to pay attention to those messages as well. Uh, you have the Ten of Swords. Again, I think you're putting like a sleepy situation to rest is really, those were the words I got at the beginning of the reading. I think that you see that something is over and it feels like work to me. Again, there, there might be like, it might be a job where you're just not getting paid enough or maybe you're just not getting a raise or the promotion you deserve. And I feel like some of you are kind of moving on from something where you're not, you're not really getting anything out of it. Again, it's showing up in the good stuff. Ten of Swords in the good stuff can represent a blessing in disguise. So I feel like there could be some sort of you know, blessing in disguise by you like quitting a job or you doing, you know, doing something, moving on from something. You have the Seven of Swords again. Uh, so again, the Seven of Swords can represent lying, cheating, stealing, but it's showing up in the good stuff. I feel it's talking about tactics. I also feel that the Seven of Swords is talking about fun. He has these polka dots on his cloak here and polka dots in the tarot can represent like needing to have more fun, uh, needing to do more of the things that you enjoy doing in your life. Um, needing to enjoy yourself, plain and simple, um, and or, you know, needing to do things that um, that are like needing to not take things too seriously, right? And so the polka dots and the tarot can represent that. And right next to it, you have the three of pentacles. Three of pentacles, the lady also has polka dots on her cloak. So whenever I have both cards in a reading, it, it definitely says to me that there could be certain things that you're um, taking too seriously. And so I would be careful of that. Yes, with the two of cups, you have the page of cups. Definitely an admirer. See, Page of Cups is kind of my card of a secret admirer as well. So like I said, you might not know who this person is here. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles is the best love card in the tarot, as, as far as I'm concerned. It's like everything you want and desire in a connection. So I really feel this could be like a new person that's coming in for you. I would go for it. Uh, with the Ten of Swords, you have the Five of Cups. Um, this is like disappointments, you know, things like that. It's coming up in the good stuff. But like I said, I definitely feel... This could be a, dis a sleepy disappointment that you are letting go of because it's a disappointment, right? Uh, with the Seven of Swords, you have the Hangman here. Someone's waking up. Like I said, Hangman is no movement. I really feel that here, that with a person going this way, this person, whoever this is, I almost feel like they are like all of a sudden pursuing you or um, making a move or, you know, getting moving on this situation, whatever, whatever the case may be. And what do you know, you have your first two cards here. I don't know if I don't know if you can actually see that on that camera, but you have this man card and this woman card right next to each other. This says dealings or relationships with a man. And then you have this barrel. It says you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money or goals. So you definitely could be getting something that you feel is lacking, could be a person, it doesn't have to be a man. You also have the woman card here. And, um, you know, again, you could be getting something here. Uh, you have this fair woman. It says dealings or relationships with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. And then you have this dog barking card. It says advice from a friend. So there could be a friend that has good advice for you. I, I also do feel that, again, this person that's interested in you uh, could be a friend, like a person that you spend time with, whatever the case may be. Uh, you have this boat card. It says money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. We definitely see good money here. We also see inheritance with the Ten of Pentacles. 
So if you're waiting for money from something, then there you go. Now you have this desk. It says, pay attention to your work. I really feel it's about value. It, it, and this has come up for, this came up for a couple other signs. I can't remember who, but a couple other signs this week that for whatever reason, I feel the universe is trying to get people to make sure that they are being valued or, or at least make sure that you're getting out what you put into a situation in, in, and especially in work. So if you do that in work, then I think you'll probably get more value or you'll get a better result. And uh, finally here, you have this rooster card. It says an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. There's been like a lot of weird energy. We do have Mars going retrograde at the end of the year as well. And Mars retrogrades, I, th I always tell people like avoid gossip, avoid, um, you know, people like this, you know, all that other good stuff. But uh, this looks really good here, Libra. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.